gold traded in a no trade zone so far for the day with a very very close and very tight range 1991 on the upside as we discussed in our asia and europe session update today morning that this is the only level above which you can initiate a buying position so far it is respected and on the downside 1983 84 zone it still has respected so what to expect today from gold also crude oil so far see 83 83.3 zone very clearly mentioned several times in our videos in our update today morning also for crude oil as well i have mentioned only buying entry only bullishness is above 83.3 83 levels beyond which you can expect bullishness precisely it is reversed from the same zone so what to expect now nfp data definitely will bring volatility into the prices of gold thus you have to trade with caution you have to trade with a stop loss and a let's start first a look into gold followed with silver watch, followed with crude oil watch till the if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel in order to get the latest updates you can also join my free telegram channel to get the live updates or join my platform forexfunda.com for live updates now let's have a look at the early chart see on the early charts it was consolidating here now suddenly the slope has changed on the early charts and gold has stayed bullish now on the downside support is seen again at 80 5 86 zone very strong support and a selling entry is only below 83 levels below 83 yes you can initiate a selling position and you can say that the prices have reversed and a major crash can be expected but right now it is still very much staying yes higher highs are seen and the important part is the change in acceleration which is which it has shown here it has suddenly changed the slope here it is still looking upwards if you look at the stock stochastic this is back to bottom it is oversold macd is divergent and bearish this is increasing in height suggestive of bearishness rsi is also looking downwards suggestive of bearishness but this is on the 15 minutes charts let's have a look at the early likewise on the early charts you can say higher lows higher highs but after the drop this is still a retracement until and unless the previous highs are breached that is 1991 levels are breached do not treat this as a reversal beyond 1991 you can say that the prices have reversed i will look forward to 95 and then 98 2002 levels else there is a probability that it is a retracement and if it breaks below 83 levels you can say that the prices have reversed and again we are looking forward to 1979 80 zone and then below that 74 75 and below that a major crash can be expected if you look at the stochastic this is looking down the macd is in green it is trying to converge a bit it is almost staying flat not showing any signs of reversal as of now rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to two hour likewise on the two hour charts higher lows higher highs respecting this channel this is still a retracement as i said it has to break past by 91 92 zone in order to confirm a reversal and any any time any point of time if you see it is staying below in 1983 you can stay short here for further drop the stochastic flat macd is still divergent it is still in green and if you look at the moment see the drop retracement drop retracement and if it crosses over here more bearishness may prevail rsi looking downwards trying to show slight bearishness but this is because of first this red candle here coming to three likewise on the three archer see the important part here is first of all it was trading in this consolidation zone this candle tried to breach beyond the consolidation zone this is very very important as it is signaling a possible reversal at the same time if you look at the base is created at 85 and 83 levels below which only you can say that the prices are turning bearish and it is approach close to previous highs that suggest that there is slight bullish momentum here i will wait for a breakout definitely a breakout may signal a reversal here else it could also break on the downside that is also equally probable because this is still consolidating a stochastic near to overbought macd is divergent macd is in green but it is trading with very modest bullishness see this drop and here also it is displayed the same then the drop here also it is displaying the same and it has further room for it on the downside rsi almost turning flat coming to four now on the four hour charts higher lows higher highs see how beautifully these are aligned also increasing body size is something we should watch out for that is suggestive of increasing bullishness so once the next candle arises next candle uh, arrives here it can give you a very strong momentum but remember it can be on the other side as well and that is why i say only buying entry above 91 and a selling entry below 83 you have to not to trade in between these levels you have to exercise extra caution in between these levels if you also look at see higher lows are seen here suggestive that it is still staying bullish our stochastic is rising macd is on the verge of a crossover it is a bullish cross 
RSI almost staying flat coming to the now look at the daily chart see higher lows here lower highs this candle tried to break out but at the same time it is still giving you lower highs here wait for it to break out beyond the preceding highs that will be a, a indication of a reversal then we have to wait for 95 levels 96 levels to be breached and if it stays above the most important part is somewhere here at 98 2002 where we have the maximum resistance but you must note that see the divergence of the 20 period moving average is too much and right now it is still staying in this zone once it breaks out below the lows at 1970 you can say certainly we are going to look at 64 60 levels and too much of divergence calls for it to converge a bit but it is right now not showing any signs of conversion stochastic has dropped look at magd see this is on the verge of a bearish cross this also suggests that there could be a reversal because see this crossover is coming at a slightly higher levels here and this crossover may bring a bearish candle we have to wait for it to give a breakout then only take a position do not take a position in hurry rsi uh, very near to the overbought zone so considering this now we have seen the charts you have seen the indicators let me give you the trading levels and strategy and before i give you the trading levels and strategy if you want to learn this art of trading you can join my mentorship batch the 27th batch is going to start on 28th of November. Limited sheets are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. And yes, you should register on the platform forexfunda.com. Here is the platform forexfunda.com in the front page itself. If you click on the join now batch option mentorship batch, the details of the batch are available here. The topics, the curriculum is also available along with the details. And yes, you can buy here itself. Clicking on the buy button, you can proceed ahead with the payment and your seats are reserved. Also, you can join my webinar. Uh, now, every weekend, every Sunday, we are going to start a new series. That is the weekly forecast, weekly prediction of markets, what to expect in the markets. From, for next week, it includes currency, commodity and indices as well. Everything we're going to cover in one hour. And I'll be taking your questions as well. Just visit the platform and register for the webinar. This is going to be interesting. Do not miss this opportunity and this platform has lot much of insights for you. You can you are having an economic calendar where you get the latest updates of, of news from across the globe. You have markets where you can search for your favorite instrument and the live charts are available. You can create your own strategy. You can book a call with me. You can book an appointment with, with me if you need any consultation, if you need any guidance with respect to any of your existing positions or a futuristic forecast or analysis you want me to do for you. Yes, you can join the forum here and discuss with your like-minded traders and, and indulge yourself in an enriching discussion. Thus, visit the platform forexfunda.com. Now, looking at this, I will recommend you to buy gold today at 1992 levels. First target at 95.96 and then beyond that 98.2002. This is a zone where we have maximum resistance only about 2002. You can consider this for a review and then beyond 2002 it is going to fly high. Chances appear to be less but these are markets anything and everything is possible. On the downside I will recommend you to take a selling entry at 1983 levels below which 79.5. Rather I will say 7880 is the very strong support zone. Complete levels 7880 below which it if it breaks 74, 75 the next and then 70. I have always maintained 70, 74 as the next strongest support zone. Below 70, it is it is going to crest towards 1960, 62 levels. That is going to be the strongest support on the downside. So take your trades accordingly. And remember the data is going to bring volatility. You have to trade with caution. Now let's have a look at crude. See, crude on the early charts has achieved $83 levels and it is achieved the bottom at 82 it is staying within the zone between 82 and 83 and we discussed in our asia and europe session update that possibly we are looking forward to 83 and beyond that if it breaks past 83 83.3 zone then only we should treat this as bullish it is precisely reversed so far from the same levels and on the downside 82 proving out to be a good support it is trying to reverse here as well now if you look at a stock i think this is rising the MACD is almost uh, has crossed over it is trading in red but it is not showing any bearish bias as of now rsi rising showing bullishness coming to two hour. now look at two hour chart see lower highs lower lows and that is coming after the little rise and retracement on the downside it failed to break below 82 82 is also the 20 period moving average because below 82 is where slight bearishness to be seen 81.5 and 81 levels and below 81 it is complete reversal right now it is staying within the box you can see this 
and it is trading in the zone 83 greater resistance and on the downside now if it tries to drop 81 level should be seen which is a great great support chances for it to break on the downside also equally exist you can see the stock elastic has dropped MACD is still trading with divergence it is still staying bullish and it is on the path of a complete recovery towards the top let's see if it continues RSI comfortable neither bullish nor bearish as of now coming to 3R. Now see on the 3R charts forming a bigger tail now the prices are willing to reverse completely and if it does show a reversal I will definitely watch out for how it behaves at 83, 83.3 zone and only and only if it stays above 83, 83.3 you can consider this for a reversal else again I will recommend you to sell at 82.4 expect 82 and then 81.5 and below that a complete drop can be expected. If you look at the formation though it is forming a bottom here though it is uh, signaling a reversal or symmetrical formation if you look at see this is symmetrical this is symmetrical this is symmetrical this is symmetrical now this is followed with a drop it can follow with a rise be careful here it can show you a equally good rise here if it breaks below 83 we are looking forward to 84 83.3 and 84 levels stock stick is overbought that is making me a little cautious that it can drop as well the MACD is divergent the MACD is bullish, it is looking upwards, RSI is also staying flat and trying to show slight bullishness. Coming to 4 hour charts, now look at 4 hour charts, series of green candle, one reversal candle here. Thus staying above 83, just stay long and 83.3 is the level beyond which you can say 84 levels are the next milestone and the bullish momentum to continue. Right now, see if you look at it was this box in which it is traded earlier now it is this box in which oil is trading and a breakout on the upside might take it to the top of this box which is at 85 if not today possibly in the next session we may see the, these levels if the price stays above 83 the stock has taken over but MACD has crossed over at bottom trading with divergence trying to look upwards trading bullish RSI is flat coming to the day now look at the daily charts in the preceding candle with a double bottom this candle tried to rise there is a resistance here at 83 if it breaks out now if you look at these two candles see first note at this candle as the median these two as symmetrical and this was the breakout so once it stays above 83 certainly more bullish momentum is going to follow and we are going to see prices at around the 20 period moving average which is sitting at around 84 84.2 zone so possibility exists that is staying below beyond 83 83.3 zone just close your eyes stay long we are going to look forward to a massive bullish momentum here on the downside, I will recommend you to sell at 82.4, but with the caution note that 82.2, 82 is a very good support, then around 81.7 and then 81 levels. 81 is achievable level if it stays below 81.7, 81.5 levels. Certainly, 81 is the next milestone which it is going to achieve. It is staying the, in the box and 81 levels should provide the support here. The stock I think is rising, MACD is trading with extreme divergence and hence we can expect a bullish candle today it can try to converge and this candle might try to look forward to 84 levels thus stay long uh, stay bullish over 83 and expect a rise trade accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my webinar series starting this sunday for the markets forecast in the coming week join my signal channel and free telegram channel give you the live updates and also visit the platform forexfunder.com register yourself there and enrich in the discussions thank you very much see you again tomorrow with the monthly review which you are going to and the forecast which we are going to share for indices and commodities worth that as well thank you very much